And also in the news, the Committee Defense of Human Rights, CDHR, has condemned the continuous increase in the prices of essential commodities. The human rights group took to the streets of Benin to demand a better welfare, saying the new price of fuel and electricity tariff had come at a wrong time and will affect the price of other commodities. The national coordinator of the CDHR, Dr. Sagio Baiwana, said the new price will also cause more hardship on Nigerians. Nigeria is still under partial law lockdown in some areas. And as we speak, the people have been subjected to excruciating pain by the increase. We are yet to recover from the pressure for which COVID-19 had caused our people. The implication is that by the increase of this essential commodity for which Nigerians can do, cannot do without, is that there will be an increase across board for transportation, they will be increased across board for food stuff. They will be increased across board for every essential commodity for which man is meant to live, the painful part. It's that government in itself do not spend their money to pay for this commodity if they intend to use it and if and when they use it. They use the money of the poor. They use our collective patrimony to pay their bills. Whereas they subject us to this excruciating pain. We must rise up. The time to speak out is now. We are a little detached by the forthcoming elections in Edo State. If not, it would have been a day to day engagement of this monstrous perspective by the government. You are fully aware of uh, the negative effects of COVID 19 whereby uh, the masses were suffocating in the iron grip of plebeian penury, in the iron grip of economic quagmire. We expected, Mr. President, to put modality in place to ameliorate the plight of the hoi polloi, not to aggravate or exacerbate the already exacerbated situation of the massive.